Before you leave the port building, you get a map. Next to the cruise port of Lyxus, there is an incredibly long sandy beach. But if you're going to take the shuttle into Porto, nine kilometers, it'll take between 15 and 20 minutes. So the bus stop right by the supermarket and on the way back, if you want to, you can pick up water and beer for very, very cheap prices. The shuttle bus drops you right by a supermarket and also a port and wine museum. And after you have had your tour around the museum, you get a port and wine tasting. And it says it's the museum of the oldest appellation in the world. Everywhere you go, there's port wine tasting. It's a bit early at the moment. Please like the film and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in the cruise novel, you can hear it all free here on our YouTube channel. And it plays out to these wonderful cruise videos. The ships are in and the markets are out. Porto is the start of many a river cruise up the Druro. So, we had to take a cruise. More stalls along the river. Bring some new roads. Here in Porto, you can see the port being made rather like our tour of uh, Champagne in France, which you can see on Doris Visits. Here, you go through the caves, you see the process, and then at the end, you have a port tasting. Some of the port tastings are a little touristy, like this one with the cinema organ playing while you eat a potato and fish fritter and taste a glass of port for 15 euros. Not necessarily the cheapest port sampling, but you do get to keep the glass. That's if you want an odd glass. So this is the cod and sheep's cheese. Not sure, but I'm going to have some pork, some white pork, and it might wash it down okay. Give me the pork. This is Kalem, and this is where you get your boat trips, and also they do Fado, and there's pork tasting. At different times of the day, they do the tours in different languages. The English one is at 11.20. Cycle hire has made so many cities so much easier to visit, but this one, you can walk if you know the way to the top. Rodrigo is 300 meters from here. That sounds very good. Okay, can you have two tickets then, please? This is quite steep. Yeah. All right, so this is our boat trip. The boat trips are called Six Bridges Tours, which means the boat basically covers six bridges. There and back, it's about 50 minutes and the commentary is in three or four languages. So, easy. The Fernandina city wall. It was built in the 14th century during the mandate of the King Don Fernando. But with its military importance diminished, it was almost all destroyed in the 19th century. The river looks very, very clean, which is more than you can say for many cities. Along the riverbank, lots of people are fishing. Being a river, so many ships are there making their crust of bread. Tours, tours everywhere. And they all seem to be tied to either a restaurant or a winemaker. So undoubtedly, 
with your cruise, you will get a free glass of wine. However, it rarely appears on the boat. You normally have to go into the wine house or the restaurant to get your free glass of wine. The Customs House. It was built in the 19th century by the French architect Jean Colson on the old river beach of Miragaya. Nowadays it is known as the Museum of Transport and Telecommunications as well as a Congress and Exhibition Center. Please subscribe to our channel. Massarel Church. The primitive church was built in 1394. In the riverside, you can see, on the wall, beautiful Portuguese tiles from the time of the discoveries where Infanto Henrique, the navigator, you represented. And designed by the famous engineer Edgar Cardoso. The platform of the bridge stands on a big arch, which was, at the time of its construction, the biggest concrete arch in the world. Is the first bridge. It was inaugurated on the 31st of October 1886 and designed by Théophile Seric, who was a disciple of the engineer Gustave Eiffel. The way to get to the top is to walk up the hill and then go over the bridge at the lower level and we'll show you what to do next. At the other side of the bridge you can either get the steps to the top or the funicular and the entrance to the funicular is 10 meters that way. So when we decide to go back over the other side, this is the way we're going to go, but we're going to explore the historical town first. There are endless options and this is a great one. The Bishop's Palace is off the square and it has a lovely little coffee shop. Do you want to go to the loo in here, Sarah? Look at the garden. I'm not sure what the best cathedral is to visit. There's no shortage. Like, there's one over there. There's one over there. There's one over there with two crosses. There's one over there in the far distance, it's got a dome as well. Or in the far distance, there's one over there. But you could just stand here and look at them all. To be honest, wherever you look, there are stunning views. And it has been said that Porto is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And they're convincing me. Here's a great view of the Museum of Sacred Art. You can see the whole thing. Porto is one of those places you want to visit time and time again. Please subscribe to our channel, Doris Visits, on YouTube. Oh, what a beautiful street. Do not wear your flip-flops. It's lethal. Just be careful on the cobbles. This is great. It's such a pretty little courtyard. This is the top bridge and I'm walking back across it and actually stopping to admire the view every few seconds. It's stunning.
So there's the fort, but I'm really not bothered about climbing up there to look down because I think our view's fine as it is. We're making our own walking tour via the map we were given. So this is the Merman. It's actually number three on the map. But you have to look up because I actually walk past without noticing it. It's in Praza del Sol. If you carry on along Prince's Street, past the Merman statue, along Ursat Street, keep going, and then turn right at the escalators and the statue of the fisherman, then you turn right at the horse statue, you're practically at the park. Great view of the harbour. This would have been a fantastic fortress. You can see for miles. I'm sure the lighthouse hasn't changed one bit, and so we're going to walk you through town. La Coruna is a great place to make new friends. Shakespeare, there's Bernard Shaw, there's Moliere. The statue is Maria Pita. When the British invaded in the 1500s, they got this far and they killed her husband. So she gathered a group of soldiers and she pushed the British back. If you turn left from the port, you'll find this little park. It's nice to stroll through. There's lots of statues and waterfalls. If you turn right, you'll walk all the way to the lighthouse. I'm in Cherbourg. If you imagine the tourist centre is in a block, then the theatre is in the square behind it and that's where the fountain is and the, in front of the theatre is where the horse and carriage leads from. Twice we've looked at the queue for this horse and carriage ride. It's only five euros but it's extremely popular. To get your bearings, the back of the theatre is the museum. If you come down to the front and just to the left is the Umbrella Museum which you have to know is there otherwise you'd walk past it. The Umbrella Factory is this close to the ship. Umbrellas are famous in Cherbourg because of the 1964 movie starring Catherine Deneuve. So this is the door here. You go through here. And in here. This is no ordinary bowl of mussels. This is a Sherbourg bowl of mussels. 